Today, I spend 100 days playing through Astroneer in search of new planets while flying through space, all the while looking for the gateway portal that would allow us to leave. We would come across unknown creatures that were both passive and cute to stuff more dangerous and in the resemblance of spiders. These things terrified me to my core. Even with the new vehicles to simple transportation, I was blown away with how much content laid before me. So without further ado, I spent 100 days in Astro Near and here's what happened. While traveling through the solar system, I found myself distracted with this game's customization. From choosing what I would look like in different suits and even deciding on what the color palette would be, we would finally set off in our little dropship towards planet Silva. A Terran planet filled with lush flora and covered by simple plains and overgrown forests, giving the planet an overall green appearance. Our first few steps on land, it was back to basics as I tried my best to figure out how to mine resources. Is this really the game? And then, what is this? I'm pointing. Right there. Oh, I can look everywhere. And then look at my little munchkin dude. <laughs> That's not inventory. Oh, I was like, how do I get my little gun out? I, I remember there being like a little this thingy. Yeah, there we go. Finishing up with some compound and resins nearby, I found this little gadget that gave us directions. Soon after, I was looking through my inventory for more tethers we could craft, hoping to place a bunch down for more oxygen. Oh, they're both on. Look, they're both right here. Can I? Oh, I can drag these out too. Okay, that's that's kind of nice. Wait, then I should really be dragging these out. Like, I feel like this one's just way too close. As we looked around for anything of use, we did find this little cave entrance that had me debating to go or not to go. Do not kill me. Uh, is there a safe way to get down? The scariest thing about a cave was not finding a way back out. Thankfully, we planned and prepped for that. So carrying this weird green looking object outside was a go. We're going to bring it home. We're going to bring it home. We're going to bring it with us. I'm holding on to it. Oh, uh, no one told me I could do that. Okay, I got to zoom out so I can see. Thank you. Uh, please let me out. <laughs> please let me out. Arriving back at base, the site was something special as we looked up to the stars. Ooh the moon or the sun i don't know but it's getting brighter out and i like that thinking of ways to research this random chunk while testing different things out around the base ah you can rotate okay and then hold to impact Whee! there it is guys i don't know what it does but there it is and then oh wait, wait this is where we need power too hold on okay this has power compatible oh cool you can lock these things down on the ground and then it keeps it from moving i think I am learning how this stuff works. Very interesting. Building tethers and oxygen filters was easy, but apparently trying to get power to this platform was the hardest thing possible. All that was left to do, find more things to be researched and see if there was any more hidden resources around. But the next day here, we found a few remains to what seemed to be a life pod. Astro, whoa, small squeaky horn. I want the squeaky horn. Bloodlight, sure. Other, yeah. See, it says can be recycled into scrap, but you can't hold this stuff. Tethers were definitely my best friend from start to finish and allowed for me to feel safe of venturing around. Also, check out this mountaintop. Uh, let me on the mountains, please. Did I see the yellow stuff? I want the yellow stuff. This is the stuff I've been looking for. Completed land filling. Wait, I don't even know what I just did, but I completed another thing. Okay. It's, it's nice how like peaceful this game is. It's really it's really something, huh? What is that? You see that? There's like a spindella thing going over there. Huh. Making my way back to base, it hit me that we were going to need more space to store resources with. Okay, store items as needed. Provides eight small slots. Can be collapsed. Just put in some... Oh, you know what? We could set this floodlight down. What would come in handy for me was platforms. It would allow for us to build more parts to research, for smelting, and even catching different types of gases. Though so that would come much later in game. So these work like this. You could just have multiples going. Oh, that is so nice. But then how do you get these things to research? I don't think they go there, to be honest. The last thing we did for the night was gather up more compound from two different deposits. Today would be that day as I took a small printer and began the next step in this long process. All right, and then this one will need a power source over here. Prints large items, draws two units of power while active. Oh, maybe it goes on these. 
The medium printer takes the platform. So this is, oh, okay, 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 okay. As I hooked up my new printer to some power, I thought it'd be a great idea to build a large printer early on. The worst thing about this was how long it actually took to fabricate this new printer. Due to the only power source being the shelter, the time for it was doubled. On top of that, I didn't know it needed its own platform. Let me take, oh my God, look how big that thing is. We have to put it on. Oh, it doesn't even fit on this one. <laughs> That's great. Oh, it doesn't even fit there. Look at that. That's just silly. The best thing to do now was set up the right printer with the right platform and then hope the large platform would do the trick. Okay, so the large platform. Let's open that bad boy up. I'm going to just scroll out a bit more so I can see better. This one builds the other way. Let me take a cable, plug it in for power. Letting the printer do its thing, I was on the hunt for more compound and resin, the two materials I would learn to farm copious amounts of because it was needed in every build. Taking a quick glance inside the large printer, I found it only had one thing and something we wouldn't ever really build. I also managed to mess up here again. All right, oh, what the fudge, what is... Oh, research chamber, that's right. Damn, look at that. What is this? We'll put it right here. That one doesn't go there. Okay, it looks like we're going to need something else. What a pain that was. Because in no time, we would have bytes coming in. A currency that would allow for us to unlock upgrades when necessary. Right. Oh, look at that. Look, 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 look. It's doing it. It's researching. So we got to create more of these things. Okay. As I started up some more platforms to be fabricated, those would take the rest of the day, giving me some more time to find anything of importance or of use. Like this compound next to the base and a vein that went pretty far down. As we almost fell victim stuck inside the crater, I then headed towards the direction of a purple forest. There's quite a few things here. Ooh, hello. We got another research. Can I carry that? <laughs> hey, look at me go, guys. Look at me go. What perfect timing too, because we needed more platforms and some researchers to acquire more currency. Did we do this? We did it. Nice. And this one, large platform B. Oh, oh, look at that. That's actually really kind of cool. I think I can get rid of these and do that. We have another big one here. That's four of them now. Ooh, that's actually pretty good. Off on another adventure once more, we would take our travels into the lands of unknown. This forest makes me feel a little cold because of like how breezy it is, but I like it. While all was good and things were progressing forward, I knew I was in need of a better way to transport those research chunks. Having the ability to go back and forth for a base with just a single chunk wasn't good enough. Perfect, look at this. Boom, boom, and then we'll have all of them researching. This one's almost done, I believe. All right, now we got all these things researching. Let them go. So just before checking in the upgrades tab, there was something weird out in the distance. All right, we got the organic. Look at this. Ah, cool, 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 cool. Okay, and then we can just put that away, take the plug. Bam, look at this. Oh! What is it? Scan. Whoa! Jeez, that's a lot. Wait, is that the only thing in this? I was now ready to see what else we can unlock. Just before starting the day, I wanted to see what other mission logs we had in the tab. All right, give me the air. Yes, please. Give me, I don't know what that is, but I'll take that too. And all right, thank you. Yes, sir. Setting up another research chamber, this would give us four total. Now for a little treat here. This is the rover seat, which I believe we put on. Oh, and this is where we need a battery. Oh my God, I'm going to have my first vehicle soon. What? Wait, as a beacon, I'm gonna move this over a bit. As a few days would pass us by, I'd eventually check the upgrades once more before heading out. It was time I gave this planet a chance and to see what else it had to offer us. There still is something way over there. We'll get to that eventually again. I just, I, you know, I kind of like enjoying the game. <laughs> we have to get back up there, which I mean, eh, we could do it. I hope. Oh boy. <laughs> Yo, this weird hazard stuff is crazy. Can I pick it up? It goes deeper? Oh, I don't know about that. A little too soon. A new haul of interesting resources led me to believe I was making real progress. True or not, that's how I felt. Filling more items into the research chambers, we now needed a furnace or two for what came next. Used to convert to natural resources into refined resources. This is what we want. Smelting furnace. We get the furnaces going and we good to go. The rest of the night, we had a lot going for us and more. Was I making great progress? Not really. But was I having fun? You better believe I was, okay? What I really wanted was for our buggy to work. I was desperately trying everything I could to get the battery to charge. Nothing would take. 
Battery on buggy? No. Sit in a buggy? No. That wouldn't give, then farming up some more compound wood. I don't know how I managed or lasted for so long, but thinking about building a separate power source just wasn't on my mind. Today was home for improvements and a little organization. Trying to figure out the best place to have all the small printers and then getting the cables to lock into each other for later use. I also made sure the medium printers had enough room and were blocks away so they wouldn't overlap with the other printers. Next was setting up and connecting the cable to and from our shelter with the large platform. The research chamber still needed a way of being powered on. Day 14 was all about expanding the base and fabricating more printers to speed up the process. All right, we got four big ones over here. We'll make them go in circles. This is what I was talking about. Did you just, would you just look at it? Look how many things we got going on here. We <laughs> got so many tethers and you know what? That's fine. I actually love tethers. Tethers is just, it makes me feel safe. Like there's something with me and not bad. Taking the day to let everything finish up. I was back on the open road and looking at the tallest point of this mountain. What fruit did it bear? And what resources would we find? I honestly thought this place would have had more, but everything seemed so bare and with nothing to really take back except for this wonderful chunk to be researched at base. After this, we'll just head to the uh, caves and I have to figure out what to do with the seeds. Okay, and then unpack, unpack. Woo, look at that. For the time being, we didn't have the right resources placed into the furnace. So taking the seeds we collected, I began planting them down. Ta-da, look at this, look at it. As much as I did enjoy the views in this game and all the steps we would get in daily, there had to be a better way than this. This is where we do the one, two, three, the one, two, three. I kid you not, figuring out this next part took me the majority of the day and with such simple resources. Oh, that's it, look at it. This is okay, that's kind of silly. Why doesn't this, why doesn't it take power from this then? You need an actual generator? Look at that, we got a small battery. You could probably guess what I did after this. Woo, we can. Oh, this thing's fast. Look how fast this thing is. <laughs> it's only got one battery right now. The only thing that I didn't really account for was storage. The buggy was fast and great for getting through tough terrain, but it had no place for storage. So now I was on the hunt for something with a little more storage, slower or not, I needed a better way to bring in resources or chunks for research. Funny enough, that's exactly what I found while being back at base. Can tow a limited number of trailers? What's a trailer is the thing I want to know. I mean, if anything, we'll test it out because we have a rover seat here. We could just yoink that and try it out. Oh, you know what? With the collection of all our resources throughout the days and stored away, we now had a use for them. Don't get me wrong. The buggy was still a lot of fun and had its ups, but overall, just being able to take the vehicle out a single resource slowed things down. While waiting for this next part to be built, I didn't actually need it because we did have a seat on our buggy already. With that in mind, we did need just one more trailer because the driver's seat did take up a space. And now for the moment you've all been waiting for, especially myself. Okay, and then, oh, you don't actually need this on it because it has its own. <laughs> this is so dope. All right, let's go grab everything, shall we? We're on a mission to get all the uh, these things. You see those? We want these. I'm going to put them right there. Did I forget to mention how awesome this was and how it made everything so much easier? I mean, would you just look at it? Time to go back home with the three amigos. Something else I didn't believe would fit onto the trailers was our medium storage units. Being able to have one for each trailer was more power than I signed up for, but I absolutely loved it. This is why the trailer made all the difference, both with resources and chunks to store. I don't know what changed, but the battery became the easiest thing to use and then charge back up at base. So now with two more chunks added to the trailer, I was back on my way to our research chambers. Boring and stuff here and things. All right, we've got plenty to go around. There you go. And looking good looking fine all right we got some storagey stuff day 22 as we were farming more basic resources i found something new to take home is that eight i think that oh oh true there is clay you know what yeah let's try getting some clay here all right we're full on clay resin this is look ooh. it's hard to tell like which research things like that are better or worse uh, so I just, I just grab them all and just do what I can. 
ceramic into the furnace was a go and our storage of both resin and compound was looking beefy. Although we did have a lot of storage, I really wanted a more simple storage unit that could hold more at the same time. Back on the trailer again, we were out gathering more chunks for research. With a final load of chunks, our bites slowly began to rise. With a marker on the compass, I was more than curious to see how far the rabbit hole could take us. This one's been here since day one. I've never gone to it. I've always looked at it. I've been like, hmm, what is that? I wonder what it could be. All right, we made it to, oh, oh, I'm, 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 I'm going to save it. I've never seen this before. You know, I'm getting a huge No Man's Sky vibe. I don't know why, but this is just like so that. I got to go around and see if there's anything here. The first step was trying my best to jump onto the trailer and see what the core was all about. It looks like we got to power these. Whoa, I just realized, look what I'm stepping on. Oh, it's so cool. Oh, I just hope it doesn't take me anywhere. We're going to take that. Oh, and then we need power. What is it doing? All right, here we go, guys. Oh, what's happening? Whoa. Okay. Okay, it looks like it's going now. Yeah, uh-huh. It's the last layer of defense or something. Did I move? I'm gonna move. I'm gonna move. <laughs> I don't know what's gonna happen. Activate a gateway chamber. Well, that's weird. Solve a gateway. Whoa. A core concept? Whoa, look, there's even like rings and stuff around it. Can I get back inside actually? <gasps> we activated it. Gaze, unclassified mineral, odd stone. Whoa. Origin node. Surface elevation equator to dim node. What I didn't know at the time, this structure was a part of how I would find the ending to Astroneer. Uh, wait, do we have anything else here? Oh, we do. There's another thing. Oh, man. That said, we were still lugging a few more chunks to be researched back to base. If this wasn't progress, I don't know what was. We had more chambers being made for chunks to be filled into, a bunch more platforms being connected to one another, and furnaces going at maximum speed with our resources. Other than needing more bites to unlock more upgrades, we would also need more resources for building them. Trip number two for more resin in the wilds. Adding a few more platforms and such to the base, all the while making sure our storage was lined up with all the resources we farmed throughout the day. Coming in hot here, you better believe I took the best screenshot yet. Look at that view, okay? Still in need of more chunks, we would gather the three we could, bringing them back to base and then being on my way searching for a new cave. First, I had to double back and make sure the tethers were good to go. Driving out in the open was one thing, but we didn't have a way to tether a power source. Ooh, what is this? Oh, zinc! We finally found zinc! We just had to go further into the game. Oh, oh, oh. oh crud. How do we get down safely, though? Ooh, you know what? Mm, yeah, it looks pretty good. Okay. Now we just got a really big place, though. I love it. Oh, I think this is zinc. Right here. This has got to be zinc. This is all zinc, precious metal. Ooh -hoo. Yeah, we're not, um, well, okay. I might die, but I, I'd rather not, you know, as much as I'd like to continue. Um, honestly, I'm just going to take the zinc and go back. We'll come back again. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. We almost died. Didn't realize there was a big hole. Oh my God. Oh, we finally have the zinc for this too. Increases deformation speed attached to terrain tool to activate. This right here, this is what I really wanted. So it's taking everything except for like, it's not doing the thingy thing thing, you know? At this point in my game, it definitely looked like I had a problem with having too many platforms for the wrong reasons. Not enough power to supply with all of our builds and slowing down any progress we once made. This is where I really tried playing around with the batteries we had. Was it possible to get things juiced up? The only thing I could find at the time was solar panels or turbines. That meant we needed more ammonium and aluminum. We're doing it. We're getting out of here. All right, go, go, go. And it's daytime, 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 daytime. Quickly jumping back into my vehicle, things took a wrong turn and fast. Oh my God, I just went into a hole. All right, 
Let's go. Okay. Do not like that. All right. The next day I started fabricating those wind turbines, any help was great right now. So as we started moving forward with the builds, something happened for the first time. Finally, placing down the wind turbines would help greatly. As long as wind was blowing through, it would give us the opportunity to speed everything up around the base. Switching out a medium printer for a wooden turbine, I had the idea of using the large platform, but B. These worked well with two additional parts that gave us similar things to place down alongside them. What I didn't expect to happen was receiving a reward for finishing a quest. Ooh, what's happening? What's happening? What's happening? What is this? What? Oh! What is this? What is this? Hold on, what? Strange object, uh, Chrono case for what the fudge? What is this? It's like a train or a tram or track or something. The last thing we needed was more aluminum and more ammonium, both located in the last cave we explored. With the weird object in our inventory, I was ready to place it and hopefully not die. Cannot activate due to blocking air. Oh, wait a minute. Okay. What is it doing now? It is. Whoa. Strange object? What the f Xenobiology lab wreckage? An abandoned facility once used to be the house of this and study biological samples. It is still partially functional and may contain useful information. Oh. Okay. That makes sense. What is this? That that the door to something? This definitely didn't survive. This is so cool. Hello. <laughs> what? Is it this thing? Actions required on Xenovirus. They're playing like a really sad ice cream truck tune. With all these new quests active, things started pointing us towards the stars and more. First, it was to the forest looking to scan some white shells that lay dormant. Afterwards, we needed to suck up some more soil for the little canister and then, and then fill in everything the terrarium needed. All that was left was for us to power up the device. What's happening? Look at that. Look at the little creature. Oh, look at the little thing. Apparently, when you, you play the music, it brings along a friendo. Get friendo. <laughs> hey. Oh, okay. My horn is gone, but we got a friendo. Look at this. Peekaboo. <laughs> oh, that's so adorable. What the frig? With new missions accepted, these would take us off planet. For now, I wanted to make sure I was ready for what was to come, exploring more of Silva and finding ourselves the first vein of copper. What also made my tool great was the mod we had on it. In Astro Near, you can unlock mods for your tools that allow for faster mining, to mine tougher resources, or even have a wider mine capability. It's also that time in the video, and if you made it this far, comment Chunky Monkey down below. With a new morning here, we had two quests tracked and both taking us to different planets. Mine and skin its discarded shells on the black on the blades of rock deep in the caverns of Kalador. And then this is scan its discarded shells and the creatures of Desolo. Desolo. And it says has found its way to the barren moon. The only problem was we needed a shuttle and I didn't have anything of the sort just yet. What made everything even better was the amount of chunks we found to research. This was phenomenal. You just gotta be able to bring it all home. Unfortunately, they only carry one at a time. Fortunately, they carry one at a time, so I don't have to take one by one home. I'll take it. I'll take what I can get. Three at a time, let's go. If I wanted to get off this planet and truly start exploring the stars, we needed a shuttle and a landing pad. Something else that I came across accidentally was the ability to fill holes. Now I could actually fill in holes around the base and so much more. If I didn't know it then, I would know it now. All right, that's not happening. I guess we might be trying to do this as fast as we can. So we need aluminum and ammonium. This would be that time that would allow us to craft specific resources. And what do you know? Look at that. Ooh, soil fuse. I want to see what this does. I haven't been able to build this. So used to extract natural resources from soil. Oh. Oh, we should just have this from now on. I needed ammonium. Look at that. Bam. 
but now we just need dirt. And with that, we also had a thruster finally ready and put into place on the shuttle. Fuel is 100% and now we just need power. Launch to another planet, launch to orbit. We have four launches total. Taking flight for the first time to a new planet, this was it. To other planets. <laughs> oh baby, look at that. We're at Silva, and now we have Desolo, and is that... Oh, oh my god, look at all the other planets over there. The first planet we would travel to was called Desolo. Traveling to Desolo was different and out of this world, quite literally. It was also a barren moon that rotated around Silva, filled with craters and bare rocks that were scattered around the surface. Oh, this place is already scary. What the fudge? We are back, baby. Now, is this on my radar? Hold on. It is. And these are the things we got to scan. These were the other ones. Let's do it. Look at that. Bam. Something that was missing and that I didn't realize until later was oxygen from the shuttle. I forgot about the oxygenator that allowed for us to actually tether on new planets. As for a medium shuttle, soon. Is this, oh, it's, it's tungsten. That's tungsten. Oh, baby. We got aluminum, that, that. Oh, my God. There's so much down here. Look at this. Is there anything that taught me well? It was this. Aha, we made it back. Do we need graphite? It was time to visit another new planet. Ooh, I've seen this planet before. That's cool. Okay. This new planet went by the name of Visanya, and it was just pink. Pink everywhere. Pink over there. Pink over here. Just pink. Look at that. All right, exit. Yes, please. What's this? Can we put... Hold on. We can! Oh, we can do tethers here, thank goodness. Lucky for me, I did find a bunch of compound to use and craft tethers with. No way was I going in blind again. So now digging through the mountainside to find the right resources, I had a few problems with this place. While back at base, we had the advantage of always being hooked up to power, so we never ran out. This planet we were on actually had me drained, no pun intended, with all the digging we did. Going down this very steep hole, I figured it would be like Minecraft, but without the lava. Dig straight down. These caves are huge. What the fudge? Ooh, what's that up there? Aluminum. Oh, that's the aluminum? We made it. Oh, ho, ho. okay. Now we need to find... Well, you know, we got to find other stuff. Oh my god, these give you 200 apiece. What? Titanium is next on my list. Unless we can find it soon. Should be great. This place did have it all, and the caves were littered with almost everything but one. Tungsten. Apparently, I was going to find the resource on the mountaintop, so that would be the next location we'd visit. <gasps> oh, I think we found it. 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 Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Okay, we're going to drop one of these, one of those. Are you what I think? Yeah, it is. Look at that. Titanium, baby. We have a one launch left. Let's go to another planet. While being back at base now, I had no time to waste as we needed to unlock a few more things with their upgrades. That led me to taking the trailer back out and searching around for more chunks. With our things at the base moving along, the next on my to-do list was fabricate and figure out the rail system. Rail, engine, resin, aluminum, copper, that's good. Perfect! I did it, I did it, I did it! Give me, give me, give me! Rail car! Boom! On top of all that good stuff, I managed to finally build my very first medium storage silo. Oh, it's going so fast. But man, is it expensive too, titanium? Oh, dude, you could stack two of them here. Ooh, okay. Things never felt so good as we began the next project. Railway system. All right, rail station is a go. How does this work? For a platform used to stop and board railways, vehicles can automate loading and unloading and call railway vehicles to its location. A locomotive intended for personnel transport and faster trains provides two small slots in oxygen. Finally sifting through the printers, I found it. So we got the rails. Let's try this out, okay? <gasps> oh, that's how that works. <laughs> this is gonna be so cool. Oh, dang. The problem with the railway system was how much power it actually needed, let alone the entire base. Oh, wee! <laughs> Damn it, the power ran out, guys. Help me. 
Help me. <laughs> I tried those small turbines and looked through most upgrades, but we either didn't have the required resources or I was waiting on bites. All I could think to do now was travel to another planet. We still needed more advanced resources for certain things I did need to build. We're going back to get titanium and this time I know it's super easy. We just have to go into like the purple mountaintops. This place is called Asanya. I mean, they could be right here, potentially. I'm sure there's an area with them somewhere. Oh, oh, it's a motherfucker. Oh, it does like the whipping plant. I'll whip you. Oh, my God, it did it again. Stupid, stupid, stupid. Kill, 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 kill. Oh, ooh, hey, look at that. You kill it and you get those. Well, that's not cool, man. You, okay, you could have killed me, but you didn't. Thank you. Thank you for that. What was great about all the titanium we farmed on the planet was it giving us another few storage silos to fabricate. Being out and exploring with our trailer again, I came across another part of a space station. What is that? You see that? Holy crap. That is a piece of something. Hold on, we gotta free some stuff up here. That's insane. Can we get inside this thing? Like, is it? I have no idea. Next few days I spent looking for more chunks. That meant more things to be researched and then finally a lot more bites. Dang, we're gonna need diamond for that. Oh, that's something I don't even know. Explosive powder, I'm not too sure. And then a hoverboard. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. Today would be all about our buggy and looking for more ceramic. If I wanted the medium shuttle and more to craft, that was on my radar. <gasps> oh, if I didn't make that, <laughs> No, ooh, not good. Wait, was that clay up there? Hold on. Might in fact be clay over here. Yeah, we got some clay. Look at it. Okay. I think we can make that. Let me just get the big lip part. Woo! Oh, yeah, we got some speed. Oh, God. I mean, oh, 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 oh. clay, 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 clay. And we out of here. We out here. Only 5,000. <laughs> oh, is that a big jump? Oh, God. Um. All right. I see where I'm supposed to go. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I, oh God, I need you too. Oh crap. Oh God, I need it because I'm gonna run out of air. I did the thing in the movie, you know, and they look cool. To, oh. What I came to find was me needing more upgrades to be unlocked. Today marked the day I needed rubber, the plastic and to so much more. <laughs> there, there's, yeah, like, I mean, we have a lot of research things as is, and we're not using them all right now. So that, uh, it's like a little microwave, but big. Sure. All right, uh, organic plus resin equals rubber. Oh my god, we can make plastic and stuff with this. <gasps> it's helium, nitrogen. Oh, this is where we're going to need the other stuff now. So getting all these, there's an actual build to capture the, like, uh, the gases. Next, I was keen on building a shop, something that would give us the items in return. As I was looking into a new planet, this one was called Novus. This terrestrial moon was filled with craters such as DeSolo, but it also had plenty of flora on the surface. Oh, what is that? You see that? Hey, visit the Novus. What is this? The first thing we needed was compound. I really should have packed some up, but in the meantime, Tethers called out to us. I will say this might have been the luckiest find yet. Yeah, that's not too bad. We can get out if we needed to. What is this? What? Oh, this is, what the fudge? That's literally what I needed. We got it. Oh, wait, we've mined every type of metal? Oh, that's so cool. Oh, there's so much iron going on right now. Sadly, what I didn't realize until a little later, the atmosphere condenser could only farm gases on the planet it was on. Because this was Silva, I was very limited to what I could get. Nitrogen and hydrogen are the only things on this planet. Having to finish up a quest from before, I forgot to scan certain shells when we were last on DeSolo. That meant we had to jump back into the shuttle and fly to DeSolo, rummaging around the planet from topside looking for compound, and then using the tethers to search underneath for much more needed resources. Wait a minute. Wait, wait a minute, wait a minute, hold the phone, hold the phone. 
Hold the phone. Are you holding the phone? Cool. Because I'm not. Um, let's go down this way. Here we go. Perfect. We have more than enough. Now let's get out of here. We'll just do the call, the war cry. The last thing to do on the planet was set down our terrarium and find the little creature hiding away. We can take this now. Let's do it. Uh, how do we do this again? Use? Hello. Oh. Attach horn to activate lure. Oh, I realized that it was already on. You had to take it off. Oh, look at this. Look at it. Oh, it's so cute. It's so cute. It's so cute. It's so cute. supposed to do be friend thank you buddy can you come with me all right let's go let's go let's go let's go <laughs> that was the biggest thing we wanted arriving back on silva it was all about getting the next shuttle upgrade placing the resources needed it was time to do a bit of upgrading all right let's do this medium shuttle medium spacecraft instead of a small like what what type of slots are we talking about like what's oh no way holy crap okay cool Yo, we can have extra storage for them now. The next planet I'd visit was Kalidor, an arid planet with a normal atmosphere and desertic terrain. This planet resembled that of the desert with foliage such as cacti and shrubbery. The two biggest things we needed was underground, stuck in a cave somewhere, and then on top of the mountainside. I figured the cave would be our best bet first off. We're just gonna slide into the mountains. Don't worry, guy. Don't. No, no, not mountains. Caves. We're sliding into the caves. So this is we're sliding into their DMs. Don't you worry. It's looking good, okay. It's looking great here. What is this? Artifact? What? Woo! I'm so tempted to take one of these. What is this? I got some sort of artifact? I'm, I'm gonna take one back. Let's just take that. Boom, look at that. Bam. Next, I was looking for the closest mountain. Climbing upwards and using our tool to dig me a safe way up. Whoa, what are... Yo, those are... Look at those plants, yo. What is that? That looks scary as heck. Oh, I do not like that. There's nothing here. I mean, there's a bunch of stuff down there. What is that plant? You see that? Having everything we would need now, the only thing left to do was to search for something called a wheeze weed. Apparently on the same planet too. Are you? Oh God, never mind. Sorry. That scared the crap out of me. Wee Holy crap. <laughs> what is this? There's a different looking thing here. Hold on, let me... I don't like you. You gotta die for me, please. Uh, oh, oh, it's the Wheezy. It's the Wheezy. It's the Wheezy. We got the Wheezy. What I found hilarious the next day was us needing to go back to Kalidor. I forgot to look for our little lost friend on the planet and add him to the terrarium. There we go. Oh, now we're good, I think. Oh my God, look at all these weird spider... Oh, I don't like those. Not even the slightest. Taking the time now to travel back to base, we finished off by adding the little creature to the Xenolab. Dun, da, 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 the sand demon is being slotted. Hello. They're all cuties though. They are all cuties. The next task was asking for us to find something called an exo chip. This would feel the Xenolab and have us continue through the story. The only thing was, I couldn't remember where to find these caches filled with the rare materials. And I know, I really want to say cache, but I won't. <laughs> go, 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 go! Woo! Alright, what do we get? What do we get? Oh, hey, got an exo chip! Debris. Holy crap, look at all the exo chips. Okay. Debris, debris, debris. Noise. Yo, we got three exo chips. Oh, that's exactly what we needed. All right, here we go. Here we go. What am I? Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Oh, man. Those things are deadly. Yes, yes. Is that it? I'll take it. I'll freaking take it. While being back on Visanya, I needed to scan certain shells to finish up the little creature quest. Lucky for us, we had just the place already tethered up and ready to go. After that, our adventures would take us to the mountaintops where we would find the resources. Being back at base, I started filling the terrarium with the rest of the required items. All we need to do now is collect a bonus. Oh, really? Oh, okay. Attach a small horn, do all that stuff. And then now it's the novice. 
What we did run out of was more aluminum and ammonium for our thrustos to the shuttle. That wasn't so bad as the cave next door did have quite the deposits filled with. The last thing I did for the night was letting the aluminum smelt down so we could use that for the builds later on. Now with the thrusters being fabricated, we had plenty to go around for our shuttle. All right, it is time. Oh, we already have storage? Cool. Okay. We've got storage on there in case we need to get stuff. And I've got five thrusters plus this one here. We are going to be flying to many a places. The first or the biggest one being, hold on, is this one. Vasanya, we got to go over here to recover that. And then after we're done, we'll go to Novus. Taking flight once more and back to Vasanya and search for the little creature. The mistake I made here was actually leaving behind the horn to call the little guy out. Uh, oh God. I need a horn. I left the horn. I completely forgot about the horn. Not only that, but as we were leaving and headed towards another planet, we needed to scan more shells here. The thing was, they were actually inside these big brown rocks that seemed almost camouflaged for the longest time. It's like I'm right on top of them. What? They're like right here. Whoa. Oh, crumbling. Oh, that's what it is. It's these big weird rocks. Oh my God. And then we got to do that one. On top of being back on Novus, it was the best time to go looking for more iron underground. Just before leaving the planet, we needed to make sure we had the right seed for the terrarium back at base. Uh, is it this thing that thistle with me? Are you thistle? Like legit. Oh, maybe it's that one. That one looks different. Or no, it doesn't. Or maybe it does. It is! Oh! Oh dang, oh dang, oh dang, oh dang, oh dang. Uh, okay. All right, I'm out, I'm out here. We got everything, got everything. As fast as we did, I planted down the seed to let it grow out for later use and then grabbed the horn so we could travel back towards Vasanya. All right, let's get this little bugger. Oh, you look like the Pokemon one. There's so many Pokemon, but you look like it. And now all we do is a little bit of this. Friend. Landing on Novus again today, I attempted to call the last one in hopes we did everything correct. Needs to be oh, wait. Did we not fill it with a specific thing? Oh my god, with soil? Did I not put enough soil? Is that it? We got some soil. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, so canister on top of you. Apparently, we didn't have enough. And then, boop. Yeah, let's go. The Novus creature is here. Hello. Much further away, we do have the oxygen filters. Those are really nice. Yes, sir. <gasps> no, 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 not the horn. <laughs> oh, that could have been bad. With the majority of these creatures captured, I could finally slot them into the Xenolab and continue the storyline. Oh, man, oh, man, oh, man. Now having just two more to collect and bring back for the lab, I could honestly say that these were some of the hardest missions I would tackle. Off again to visit a new planet, this one was called Aatrox. A very dense and radiated planet that with every turn had deadly plants looking to end your life or worse. It would be okay right now. Scanning on this planet was the easy part, until it had me being attacked by different floras around the place. Oh, <laughs> I gotta scan those things though. This thing is so dangerous. Once we finished up here, I was off to another planet by the name of Glacio, a frozen tundra of a planet that was extremely scarce with resources and iceberg galore all around. Visit the, what the fudge? You guys can't just be there? Hello? Oh, oh, that's gonna hurt. Oh my god, they actually explode on compact. Uh, comp- what? Excuse me? <laughs> compact? What? This is great though. These generators are like literally giving us all the power we need. Mineral? Oh, that's different. What is this? Frozen Argon? Oh my god. Site pylon? Call for nearest- What? The actual- The dense dried ice contains interest can be cracked with the- Oh my god, I need explosives for this? Apparently things were becoming next level. Today I was ready. The biggest help with the next task at hand was having both the atmosphere condenser and large platform already made and stored in the shuttle. Things felt great and this would be a start to an end. All right, we're here, boy. All we have to do now, I need to power this up though. So let's do that real quickly. Methane, oh, this does have methane and sulfur. Ooh. So I think this is how it works. It just starts sucking it up. And when you have enough, it gives you the sulfur. It creates its own little canister. Oh, look at the gas. Gas is coming together. Ooh, that's cool. 
All right. While I had everything going as we farmed more sulfur, one after the next, I couldn't believe how much easier it felt than what I originally thought. Yo, this thing took forever. Trying to get helium is a long process, literally days long. I guess the less PPU it has, the longer it takes, someone, I want to say. I would definitely need organic resources to keep the small power supplies going. You know, I never thought I'd get to this stage, I'm going to be honest. Because when I initially started the game, I was like, how am I supposed to capture gas? It's like, you want me to breathe in and then like, how does that even work? The biggest thing that threw me off, and not until much later into the sulfuric farm, was the canisters. Now the real weight was on. And I had to go back and fill each canister up individually. On this side, we have full sulfur that is all literally full. This took forever. I'm not even kidding. I think I've been standing here for like four days, maybe, maybe five, maybe five days. Who knows? I mean, you will when you see the video, but my gosh, that was kind of ridiculous. I've been like just answering to YouTube comments and stuff while I'm doing this. So I mean, hey, two birds, one stone, let's go, right? The biggest reason for all that sulfur was dynamite. I needed to make things explode. Look how much that, oh. I mean, it's using a good amount of sulfur, but I'm so glad I, I stacked, like I stocked up on these things. That is so helpful right now. But if I only had one each, oh, I'd be going back and forth so much. Oh, that is wicked. Look at that. Bam. It's one for one. Now with that full inventory of dynamite I was talking about, I knew I was more than ready. So jumping back inside the shuttle, I was on my way back to Glacio. Oh, this is the exact same place where we went to or like came from. Actually, I should probably move this away. So this we got to break open. So put that down. Go, go. All right, what we get, what we got, what we get, what we got, glass, this is it. Yeah, buddy. We had everything we needed and more, which meant I could start filling up the last two terrariums and plan out the last two builds. Unfortunately, Visanya was the last planet I'd visit because we still needed some more gas. I would have preferred not to have to farm more, but this would be my last visit for the gases too. The amount of small power supplies we had was hilarious and part of me actually wanted more. What made all these power supplies that much better was the planet itself. The place was littered with organic material everywhere and left me farming left, right, and center as quickly as I could. Look how fast it's going. Look at, you can see the diameter root, like the thing. Holy crud. It is zooming. Yo, it is zooming. Look at it. Oh, baby. You got to see it in there first. And once the other one starts loading up again, then you're like, okay, now we're good to go. Okay. So it probably will do about two full ones. I think this is amazing. I love this already. Look at that. While I did race back to base, I was able to drop everything we didn't need off and then journey towards the two places we had left. Aatrox and Glacio. So now it was time we made our way back to both planets, searching for our musical partners in crime. There we go. There we go. Befriend my friend, please. Yes. I'm dancing. I'm dancing for you. Okay, we... Oh, oh we do have another sack of tethers. Cool. And this time you are over there. Ooh, this is it. This is it, guys. Hold on right there. Actually, wait, isn't it this one? Yeah. Be friend. As I finished all the quests left to do with our friends, we were now ready to create the one and only orchestra. Apparently, there we go. Oh, hello. <laughs> Look at this. Final entry. We gotta activate you. 
Final entry. The only thing left to do was find the core to Silva and turn on the gateway portal. Dig deep, find the planet core and figure out how to turn it on. Thankfully, most of the different structures across the planet were easy to find. When turning them on, they gave off a specific color and a notable change. The only one that had me at a loss was the last structure due north. So jumping on my buggy, I drove straight north, making sure to double check as we arrived at the first structure we turned on. Dim node, which is gonna be dim, so it's gonna be in the surface. That is north, so we gotta go more north. Okay, let's do it. Well, there we go. It, yo, you know what? It might actually be in the mountain. Yup, it looks like it is. All right. Oh boy, we just need to be able to make this, please. <laughs> oh, let me go get some tether or tether. Let me get some oxygen while I wait for that to go. This is it, the last one. Can we make it? Can we make it? Dun, 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 dun. Boom. We did it, guys. All right, let's check it out. Um, dim node interior elevation. We got all the nodes on the outside. Now, uh, what does that mean? I... <laughs> No idea. If I wanted to make it to the center, the last thing I would need to build was a drill and a rover, both of which we didn't have and that did take a considerable amount of resources. Ooh, look at this, look at this. How does it work? I don't know, do we just... Oh, I figured out the button. We're going in, guys. We're going in hot and heavy and we just fell. Or did we? Or did we? This is so cool. Look at it. I'm finally getting a good. Oh, we're going to flip again. Are you ready? <laughs> All right, let's flip again. Thank you. Travel to the mantle depth of any planet. Wait, the mantle depth? Wait, wait, wait. Stop, 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 stop. I don't really know how to tell if you've made it or not. <laughs> oh, why do you have to be so fast? Whoa. Uh, oh, crap. Can I land on a. Where am I? Where am I? Where am I? Where am I? What is this place? You see this right now? Oh god, don't hurt me. Oh god, get in, get in, get in. Just dig, just dig. Uh, this is insane. Uh, do we want to go down there? Oh, <gasps> I died. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. Oh my god, that scared me. I knew day 100 would be special because it was the exact moment the game told me I had made it to the center of the planet. I couldn't believe it. I'm at the center? Oh, this is the core. Oh, it actually literally said the core. Okay. We're at the core, which means this, this is a good one. Oh, no freaking way. Is it right there? Are you kidding me? Hold on. Uh, I don't know what's happening. <laughs> I think when you get on top of this thing, it does something really wacky. Gotta find the entrance to this place that I have no idea is going to be. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. What did I just find? Oh, what is this? Oh, oh, oh. Did we just fall? Or not? Okay. Find a gateway engine? Um, why do I keep falling? Oh, there we go. Uh... Okay. Well, it looks like we have to put some sort of resource. Oh, that's not good. I think it's quartz we needed for that. It looked like quartz. We might actually have everything here. Oh, wait. When we stand in this thing, do we have unlimited... It looks like our oxygen is okay. It looks like it is quartz. What? Why did that just... Can I get that one? Can I get that one? Okay, I need another one, because you don't want to give me that one. I will do it again. So we 
have one there. One there, one there, right? I think we have one on this side? Yes, we do. Um, okay, I have to go get that one. Hold on, I'll be right back. I'm just gonna use gravity. This is so trippy, but uh, we gotta do it. Oh god, oh god. Oh. oh! Stop, I'm just trying to... There we go. Okay, thank you. Ooh, okay, do, wait, do I have to be down there? Uh... Activated planet's core, core concept, solve the gateway engine on Silva. There's something out there. Oh, oh! cosmic elevation, multi-core processing. Yo, we made it. We friggin' made it. Here we go. Woo! Look at that. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, you guys don't understand how long this took. I thought it was gonna be simple, but nope. Not even close. So apparently with the ending coming, well, to an end of this game, there is a satellite in outer space. Again, I don't know if the ending is, the like true ending is activating all cores on every single planet. I'm not doing that. I got to one core that is more than enough than I that I ever need, to be honest. With that said, if this is the end, I just want to say thank you guys so much for being a part of this. Thank you guys for so much support, still so consistently every single day. I truly and really do appreciate you guys. I love you guys so much. I really do. And I hope you enjoyed this last bit with me. It's going to be something crazy, man. It's going to be pretty, pretty freaking cool. Oh, maybe this is like a teleport between planets. There's something out there. There truly is. We got another thruster. I don't have... I should have brought tether, shouldn't I? We gotta make it count, baby. Or our oxygen is fine. Ooh, okay. Hello? What is this? Oh! This is where we have to start putting things in now. Oh my god. So it looks like it powers up something over here. This is a crystal. Look at this. You can literally see out of space. Like I'm I'm literally in like in the solar system out in space just on on this thing looking at the worlds we like once traveled to. Holy crap. But that said, I really do hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love your faces and I'll see you in my next one and or live stream. Until then, bye for now. I'll see you soon.